Okay, so hi everybody. This is Ron McKinney with Parida um, Dance Photo again. Uh, we're doing uh, another of our series of our webinars and Rachel and Andrew have kindly come on here to do some image critiquing of dance photos. And uh, I know there's a lot of excitement about that. So uh, without any further ado, I'm gonna turn things over to Andrew and Rachel. All right. All right, you guys. Jump right so, in. I think we have a chat bot going. So if you want to make comments and questions and 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 uh, and jump in here, I'm very used to people being able to just talk whenever we, you guys want to talk. Um, so please don't hesitate to uh, type in the in the chat any uh, thoughts that you have or questions that you have, that kind of thing. Um, I have to say that uh, I'm so happy to be with you guys today. Um, uh, I, I'm sure you guys know we're here in New York and we're is still in lockdown pretty tight. Uh, so it's encouraging that I'm starting to hear from other places that you guys are starting to get out there and shoot just a little bit. Um, we're starting to kind of try to figure it out and think about how to do it, but we're nowhere near being let out yet. So. Please, please, please continue to post your images because we're going to be living vicariously through you for oh a little my God. while. Yes. So much. Yes. Oh, and uh, our tea delivery we have, we have just a tea came. Delivery. Thank you so much, Dave. <laughs> so we are uh, in lockdown. So we're very not, we're, we are very infrequently working from our um, studio at the moment. And so you can see the lovely decor behind me is my personal corner of my tiny little bedroom <laughs> in New York um, with my kids stuff right here. Um, so I apologize that I don't have like more inspiration up for you at this time, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to-, to Ron's got us covered that. on the inspo. Yeah, right? Back there. We're just Take a look at all of Ron's prints. Can we just, we just need to copy that and put it- Yeah, like do the Zoom background yeah, thing. come on, right? <laughs> Ron, send us a, send us a JPEG. Right? There you go. Yeah, I'll have that right on the way, Andrew. <laughs> yeah. awesome. You can put trees behind us. How about that? Hello from Saskatoon. Hello from, who's from Saskatoon? Ken. Ken from Saskatoon. Quietly, I lived in Saskatoon for three years, not... Burp, burp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My husband's from Saskatoon. Uh, okay, you guys, so we're going to start with this particular image. I'm not going to name names. I'm not going to talk about whose image this is unless you guys decide that you want to shout out, hey, that's my image and I have some questions on it. Um, I, I think anonymity sometimes allows us to really dive in just a little bit more. Um, so what would I say about this? This is actually something that I saw an awful lot at in the, at the Pas de Deux <laughs> It's uh, Colette's and she says she'll take the beating. There you go. Colette, Colette, <laughs> Colette babe, Colette babe. Um, I, I saw an awful lot in, uh, when we were at the Pas de Deux conference, uh, unintentional, like cropping. Cropping is a thing that I'm very intentional about, not just when I'm shooting, but then also after the fact too. So I think that uh, personally, for me, um, it's a lovely shot. Her hair is pretty, um, I'd probably bring her knees a little closer together because I find it a little weird to have a stripe of light between there. Um, and, and I think there's a lot of lovely motion in it. I think that she needs a little bit more space. Uh, I think she, we could, it would be very effective to have just a little bit more space. Oh, you guys can see this, right? Like it's a little tight here. Her hand needs some space to move away from. It needs some space to, to breathe into. And then on uh, for her foot here, it's it's really really tight. Like there's almost no space down below. And so because of that, if you're intentionally cropping tight, I think it it adds to a sense of compression. It adds to a sense of pressure. Uh, and we talk about that particularly often when I, and I get this question all the time when we're talking about um, arabesque shots thinking you guys like audition stuff and there's probably just as many people that crop them horizontally as they crop them vertically and I would really encourage you to think through what your intentions are behind that um, because the tighter you, you don't want your dancer swimming in space of course unless that's your intention but I feel like a little extra space on this gives us room to see what she's looking at, where she's going, how she's moving, and, and to be able to have some space to really see her lines a little bit more. So yeah, 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 but uh, I mean, her hair is great. Cool, cool, you have a question, it's meant to, oh yeah, there you go, okay. Next, Andy, flip. Pink. 
Good. Okay. And normally under circumstances like this, I would say, so what do you guys think about this? That's why it's a little weird for me to <laughs> do critiques without, without having like direct one-on-one -on -one feedback. You, okay. you know, Rachel, I, I, I mentioned this to Andrew too. If, if you ever want to, I can always bring somebody on. Uh, no, oh, that would be great. That would be great. So I think the first thing that we want to talk about here are her lines. Her lines are beautiful. Uh, we're looking for geometric lines often in uh, dance photography. So that line there, that line there, this makes a nice shape in here. Uh, this makes a nice shape in here. Um, I think you want to be careful always when we're doing shots like this, particularly to prep the shape uh, before they move into it and that's going to give you a better supporting leg so the angle on this foot just a little bit more turn she probably has more turnout in there um, to making sure that we don't see that knee coming out at us this way the nicest line you guys on a supporting leg is uh, well it's different for every leg so I was going to give you like a cheat sheet on that but it's different for every leg so I kind of can't um, but on this particular shot it needs to be it wants to be perpendicular with the camera line right so because her knees rotated that way she's it's like her leg is a little lumpy and bumpy and it, it would have been so much more uh, flattering to this front part of her leg if we'd have rotated her leg just a little bit more just a little bit more allows this foot to look nicer and show off the lot show off the actual line a little bit better um, I think also you want to consider uh, talking a little bit more about where the twist comes from in this shot you guys this is a really common uh, uh, pose and oftentimes the dancers are twisting with their arms rather than twisting from the rib cage so what's happened because she's done that is this arm has gone behind her and it pops that shoulder up a little bit so if I can get you to think and coaching them towards rotating their rib cage on their spine you can immediately you can immediately see how that would have been effective on this shot right because the rib cage is still kind of that way and then she's just kind of using her shoulder girdle and her head to look the other way so that's that's definitely something the other thing to consider on this shot and maybe you wanted this um, we're dealing with light that's at 10 and 2 we use a clock system when I teach workshops um, and if you're working a 10 and 2 system um, it often ends up being a little bit flat on the face so we're not seeing um, depth she's looking a little flat to the page as opposed to pulling out of the out, out of space so um, so yeah there's a lighting tutorial on our on our website, right? That could, that might totally help you with that, for sure. Uh, back to her supporting leg. Do you mean that we want the kneecap to be more perpendicular to the camera? Yeah, yeah. The kneecap, therefore, the rest of the leg too. But if that's your, if that's the point that you're looking at to help it rotate, then yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, great question, great question. Okay, moving on. Next. Next. Oh, okay. I love the background. We like walls. I, I mean, like walls. no, those are no, drops. No, those drops. Okay, I want your drops. Can you send me your drops? <laughs> Can I have these drops? I, personally, I probably wouldn't have put them like straight on like this. I would have let one of them, like the back one, I really just want to take that and yank it down so it's like unsymmetrical there. But I seriously want your drops. I mean, come on. I mean, come on. Um, uh, it looks like that's a floor, like a floor drop in or a drop. I sometimes have challenges with floor drops. I have two of them and I almost never use them because they kind of look fake and it drives me nuts. Um, so we're starting to think about at our studio actually getting planks, like actual, like go to, go to Home Depot and get boxes of planks to put down and figure out ways that we can input and output them because I think it just looks, I think it looks better. Real looks More real. real. Yeah, real looks <laughs> real. Real looks real. But seriously, I'm going to steal that idea. Really, definitely. Okay, uh, to get on to the critique, I think you want to be careful sometimes about where you're intentionally lighting your dancer and thinking through Obviously, we want his face lit. I can see where you're, what you're where you're going with that and what you're what you're wanting to achieve there. But I think that his legs are not the nicest. Uh, they're not necessarily uh, fantastic being lit from the back. Um, so then that begs the question: Well, how do you light it if you want his face lit but not the back of the leg lit in this particular shot, right? Um, so under those circumstances i might have looked at that and gone with a smaller light source to, uh, or put a grid on it so grids, that grids, grids. grids right um to effectively have more 
the focus being here because really all my first thought the way my eye goes to this shot you guys my eye goes to it goes generally across in a z in a z in a z and then it goes to the lightest spot in the shot right which right now aside from the floor is like here and i don't think that's your intention right we want we want to bring out the facial expressions in this so if we would have either flagged off the light on his leg um or used a smaller modifier like a like a two by three maybe a two by three with the grid depending on what you have available to you or even just a flag do you guys know what flags are big pieces of black uh well it's um black anything black anything right <laughs> Yeah, anything that you can do to cut light, we call it a flag. Uh, but basically, in actual technical terms, they're... Um, Dubatine uh, with, oh, with a frame. Yeah. Yeah. So we have a couple of those in our studio. We should totally do a video about that, shouldn't we? Yeah, because they're really, really handy tools. You can do it with anything. You can do it with... Uh, How does a video about like modifying light with one light and like using all of the extra supplemental stuff? So like... Bounce cards, V flats, reflector, negative light, flags. Is that something you guys would all dig? Yeah, probably, right? Yeah, let us know. Let us know because we're in the process of thinking about how we can help you guys while we're... We got time. We got, we got a little time <laughs> on our hands right now. We got time. I know I'd like it. <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah, we got a couple of... Yeah, we got uh, some. Yes, awesome. please. Yeah, we can do that for you. Maybe we could add that to the list for next week. Yeah, no, that's good. I don't think we have that on our list. Oh, so that's so. great. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we're getting yes pleases. Cool. Mom, oh, cool. Excuse me my for just. My iPad's not charging at all, and the plug was inside it. Oh, the plug was inside my <laughs> iPad, and it wasn't charging at all, you guys. And now we're upset. I get it. Can you go downstairs and ask Daddy to get you a plug? Thank you, sweetie. <laughs> it's not fair. <laughs> Looking from home. Working from home. Yeah. Working from home. All of us, right? Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. True quarantine life. Yeah. You know those memes that go around the internet that say, here's the circumstances under which you can um, interrupt me or go in a room? <laughs> if something is on fire, let me know. Otherwise, yeah. piss off. Not in my house. Not in my house. Okay. Swoop to the next, next one. All right. Okay. Awesome. So... I think cropping. Yeah, there's a lot of space top and bottom. You might have wanted that much space to top to bottom, but I think it's empty space that's not it's not helping anything. If you want to give the sense of space, you guys give the sense of space. Like give her I think this could definitely benefit from playing around with different different types of crop. Um I kind of a little feel it's like strong split lighting is sometimes super effective and sometimes um uh uh sort of stress with a D, the word distracting just a little bit. And here when it's pretty equal from front to back, I'm finding it a ton personally because it's a nice shot. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice shot. I personally find flat straight split lighting, meaning you have pretty close to equal amounts of light coming from both sides. Um, it's sort of like, did we intend to light her bum? You know what I mean? Um, so I like the highlight. I just am not sure that I love the highlight on the back of her leg. You know what I mean? But yeah, lovely, lovely shot. I think just pop that front shoulder down and she would have been super happy with it. A little more twist, it would have been great. Yeah, nice hair. Yeah, guys, I can't stress this enough. Intentional cropping all over the place. What do you want it to look like? Take some time to figure out what you want your stuff to look like. Every time I have a new retoucher in my studio, we have to spend some time going over cropping because sometimes it's not, you know, when you play with it, you come up with different ideas, you try different yeah, things. Yeah, try something weird too. Like, you know, like when yeah. like you're in the crop tool in Photoshop and it glitches and does something really weird and then you're like, oh. Exactly. <laughs> you never know. You never know. You never know. Cool, cool. Uh, right. Do crop outside of standard aspect ratios to suit the pose? Great question. I mean, not often, but sometimes. Sometimes a certain crop will suit the pose better than another. Yeah. Two by three is great for this. Four by five would be fine too. Yeah, I kind of think square four might even be good. Oh, well, square would actually be really nice on this one. Yeah. So try it all. Yeah. One of them will land. I am, if you if you really started shooting in the last five to ten years and everybody's just on DSLRs and you get stuck in that frame rate, right? Um, I started shooting 25 years ago on film 
um, and I was shooting medium format. So my eye for cropping just was like, it depends on what format you're using. If I'm shooting my four by five or my medium format, I was, I was square uh, for my brawny and uh, well, four by five is a four by five. So the, you know, I'm used to working in all standard, uh, in, in all shapes and sizes, but I know a lot of people aren't because you just don't have access to like actually shooting under those circumstances. So for a, for a client, um, we'll, we'll do whatever crop is going to be best, but you know, Instagram, you can't use two by threes unless you put the bars or do other stuff. So in, anything for us that goes to Instagram, if it already isn't natively four by five and what we delivered to the client, we'll modify it and do background extensions or whatever we need to do to have it fit. Yeah. And then Gabby says, would you consider where the dancer is looking or moving towards and give that area more space? Absolutely. Um, sometimes it's, you know, you you want to tell a story and the cropping can help that. So if it's, if they're moving forward or away from something and you want to have that extra sense of motion, sometimes it's one way, sometimes it's the other. And, um, and yeah, I do that all the time actually you don't see it as much on instagram because the format's like this big but at, for actual actual shots yeah we do that all the time yeah and even in layouts like when i'm working commercial jobs uh that's always something that's taken into consideration a uh, job that actually i'm on a creative call this afternoon about it and there's a certain flow that we're looking for in the shot but the copy has to go over here but we're talking about you know, how do we, are we changing around? Are we not changing around? How, what the layout looks like when it's in print and, and, and um, on their website and all that kind of thing. So it's like, it's, there's no really one right answer, you guys. It's just, it is definitely a tool that I'm seeing be underutilized is I guess what we're trying to say. So next. Cropping video coming soon. <laughs> I know, right? Okay, so here again, I w wouldn't you say, since we're talking about cropping, uh, do we, does this feel comfortable in the crop? Does this feel good? Sorry. Yeah, there you go. Just comparing the two. Yeah. Just a... So you might want that amount. Also, it's she's because she shot down on, on it downward, she kind of feels like she's falling off the page just a little bit. And I totally understand why you would do that. Has, having to do with wanting to be able to see her tutu and that kind of thing. Um, it just sometimes makes, sometimes if you're shooting down on dancers, it makes them feel like they're sliding off the page uh, that way. Uh, but yeah, I really feel like there's not quite enough space towards this side, like where she's looking over here, you guys. I would, have, I, I would give her a little bit more space there. And I'm not sure you need all this negative space. It's pretty, it's pretty bottom heavy here. Four by five crop. Yeah. Or more centered or square or something. It's not, and it's like that's the cropping that's bothering me there. Um, the second thing to note, you guys, I don't, okay, I'm going to harp on it, and I know you guys heard me say this at the conference, but I'm going to harp on it again. A backbend for a backbend's sake is not a shot. So, and I know the kids like this. I totally get that they like this. I totally get it. But technically wise, it's, con it's not a good shot um, because we don't have length of leg through here, and I just know she's just seriously crunched in that spinal column in there. It's like, it's a little for, for ballet teachers. This is a little, we look at this and go a little bit like that. Um, so I told, I really understand that you need to please your clients and that a lot of dancers, particularly the young ones under what, 11, 12, usually under 11, they really like the tricks. And I really get that. Um, but we just really have to be careful of uh, growing spines and soft bones, so. All right, awesome. Well, that's fun. So we have a boom for two high side lights. Looks like a boom, but looks like two high side. It looks like, okay, stay shot. Right? But then we've got, yeah. like, it's enough fill in here to make me not Thing. So you stopped us. We're standing here going, like, how is this lit? What? Reverse engineer. <laughs> so. Boom and fill. Boom and fill? I don't think so. Like, we're, it's we're, like, we're hot and spicy like, here, but then we got a little bit coming a little from bit, here. It's a little bit. Okay, who shot this and how did you do it? <laughs> um, okay. All right, so, Rachel, I shot it. 
You shot it. Okay. So how, where is the light coming from? Because it looks like a boom and the shadow looks like the boom, but you've got light on her front thigh, which is like, it shouldn't be there if it was shot like that. So talk, talk to us. Yeah. You can, you can tell by the shadow down below. What, what, what I do is on this spot here, I actually have a light that's attached to my ceiling going straight down on dancers. So I use it whenever I want to. Uh -huh, and, so um, and then I have two lights, two strip lights coming from the side. So I'm, I'm using three different lights here. Got it. Okay. Um, so yeah, so I think uh, her feet would be where I would focus on this shot. And I think personally, I feel like this, the, the, that you don't need that much light on this because I feel like it's a lot to look at with like crossed arms. It's such a cool pose that I feel like a little bit more shadow, like if we took the light if we took the light off of this side, like this, this is not particularly yummy right here. And I don't think you need that. I don't think you need it. I think it would have been amazing with your, with your boom light and, and, and with your side light on this side. Overhead um, boom like that, we're usually going for like, some effective drama. Yeah, right? like it's really cool. Um, I think guys, we have to be careful again, watching where, where the light lands in terms of what we want to highlight and what we don't want to highlight. So because we have the light coming in from this side, the strongest light is her heel right here. And that light right here on her heel is competing with the light here is competing with the hot spot right here. Do you know what I mean? So I really am seeing that her foot's not stretched. It's yeah, it's like, and it's it's like highlighting that. Like it's a lovely twisted pose. It's, it's cool. a tricky it's little really cool. like geometric pose, but then it kind of highlights like not quite. But had the strip lights not been on, you might have gotten away with keeping that shadow. Yeah. Uh -huh. Cool. Good. Thank you. Anytime. Anytime. But it's cool. Yeah. Also, next. And she's making it look easy. Yeah. <laughs> she did. Indeed. It's amazing. Cutie patootie. Littles. 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 Okay. Sometimes when you shoot littles, guys, are we now calling them littles? <laughs> Apparently, now we now are. We're them littles. <laughs> um. I think this is really cute. I think if you're going to make it, if you're going that low on your shot, like if you're gonna lie on the ground in, in, in a shot like that, you're going intentionally to make your littles look a little older um, and the littles are gonna like that. Um, I, I think that's really cute. Um, I think, oh, I think that's really cute. So I would say, um, I would say that one more time, it's the inside line of the leg here if we did this is what i'm talking about you guys in this inside line of the leg if we rotate that just a little bit more it gets it, it becomes more flattering right in here um you start to cancel out some of like the quad muscles when yeah. you do that and it's just a much cleaner line yeah, yeah yeah i also am a tiny bit questioning the placement of your highlight on this side because it's so strong and it's very close to the front Okay. Subject. Uh, subject. Okay, is this your subject? <laughs> sure. Okay, hold the subject. Okay, you do that. Hold the subject here. Gonna hold it. Okay. And she's twisting this way, right? So then you've got light on her here, but the highlight looks like it's kind of here. And therefore we're getting a lot of a, a lot like the rim light, it's like a big rim light, right? So if we'd have taken it around to the back a little bit more, I think it would have emphasized her face more than her arm line and might have been might have been more effective on that front. Because again, it's it's sometimes if you've got too much light coming from too many places, you guys, and the and the and the ratios aren't quite exactly what you're wanting, it becomes almost a little bit challenging to see the dancer. Does that make sense? It becomes about the shape and the pose and not as much about her. I think actually that's, I don't even know that I really have ever mentioned that before. That just sort of popped. Well, here you go. You have it on Ron's <laughs> Potter to think first. Rachel never We're gonna talk about, we seriously have to do that. There's another <laughs> webinar for us. We have to talk about like why we use what ratios and what, um, and volume of light from side to side if you're using more than one light. That's, we like have to start. This ram would look good up here, but this is just awfully strong. Exactly, they are not gonna know what Ah, crap, said. I was pointing Come at the screen on. with my yes. finger. I was gonna say, the, the rim coming on her leg here is really nice, how it's a little bit more of like a sliver of light versus it coming around the corner a lot more up here. Yeah. Like this ratio would look really great mm -hmm. up here. So like, because really all I see is this part, is her neck. Right. And really more than likely what the parent and her really want to see. I mean, it's a cool shot, right? But 
face, especially for littles, especially for littles when you're giving them a pose that's actually just a little bit older than their technical range. Um, we need to be careful about what we're, what our intentions are and, and how we're lighting them. So yeah. Oh, we have a question. Does the light camera left also highlight the tension on her neck? How concerned should we be about showing that? So, so good. Okay, you guys. So this, oh, I can never remember what it's called. Sternocladomastoid. That. <laughs> Mastoid, sternum, clavicular, the muscle that connects them. What he said. <laughs> Learn your anatomy, everybody. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. The neck muscle. <laughs> Right. There's no way to get around that if you're doing side lighting and you're twisting. Guys, and you're twisting. It's it just it's a feature. It's a thing where you would have been. Again, that actually comes back to uh, paying attention to where you're using your highlights and where your main light is coming from. Um, so the more you can be aware of it, the more you know. You're not going to necessarily when you're in the middle of a shoot go. Oh, well, I'm going to analyze now that I'm going to the oh and that you know what I mean. You it's like these really really quick conversations and connections you just see it and go no that's not right and you need it and you adjust and fix um but yeah that if you have too much highlight coming from that side there's nothing you can do about that you really need to bring that light way around the back so i guess i didn't really answer your question i apologize your question was should we be concerned with it um i have a lot of clients that end up being concerned with it because it's that tension in your neck and some depending on the pose it makes the tension in your neck Everyone do this right now. Hold on to that muscle and try to turn your head without engaging it. Like it doesn't happen. So you, so you're always going to get it. If you want to pull up, if you want to light flat, then you can hide it. If you want to light for texture and muscle definition, then it's going to come out. And so it's a conversation and a, in a, in a finessing of the light that you have to work with. Bring it up sure. to your client. Yeah. Maybe if you're, if you're that concerned about it. Yeah. 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 And you guys were shooting in a shoot like not one shot every, like when I'm shooting commercial stuff, right? It's like one shot in a half a day and we finesse it to the nth degree, right? We don't in our studios get the opportunity to do that. It's that you, you know, you can do it, you can fix that, but it'll take you three hours. You know what I mean? To get the reflectors and the flags and the this and the that and the this and that kind of thing. Um, and we get an hour with them at best. So you're not going to muck around with it. I mean, you're going to change that light, but you're not going to, yeah, it's inevitably going to come. So, I'm sorry. I hope I answered your question. <laughs> we did. Oh, okay. Ah, okay. So overhead light for sure, which is always fun. Um, I think the blacks are pulled in too hard on your post processing on this particular shot. Uh, I think it's it's like it's like cranked in the blacks to have all of that shadow going through there and there. Um, particularly for that background, I feel like personally, this is my taste, only my taste, is that it's a little, um, it's a little of a mismatch with the background. I think that um, clearly the clearly the child has some flexibility, and the, and they always want these shots. Uh, I would be really careful uh, with the costuming on this because clearly she's young, uh, she's a little. Clearly she's like, look, she looks like she's twelve or something like that. And so we, we, we just want to be careful on the outfit on that and then how we light the outfit on that. Uh, but the overarching thing that I see there is generally speaking, um, it, it's like a weird crop. It's tight. This is a really long, narrow shape. You need to give it, get, yeah, right? Did you notice that now? And I was also going to say, be sure to get rid of the strike mark on the floor. Oh, well, yeah, post production. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, just just be real careful with these types of shots with the little ones, you guys, because it's the, you can get them sucked into all about the gymnastics. Um, and I know a lot of you guys work in schools like that. I totally get it. I absolutely understand where you're coming from, um, but we have to be safe and good technique and all that good stuff. So, yeah, awesome. Uh, to what degree? I think this was on the last one. Can this be fixed in post processing? That depends on your time and the budget you have. If you need to outsource it. Anything can be done in oh, Photoshop. We're talking about this. Yeah. Yeah, I mean a little bit, but you know. It's better to get it in camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Give me, give me a second to switch gears here. So rule of thirds, yeah. Leading lines, yeah. Probably would have rotated the camera just a little bit more for a little bit more leading line. Yeah, I probably would come from underneath too a little bit more. I would have explored different angles, but you can't really explore. I mean, you got to explore before she gets into this because this is a one-two and you're done, right? 
Um, yeah. Again, yeah, that's, yeah, makes me a little nervous for her safety, but if she can do it. Can I just say one more time, safety first, you guys, safety first, but yeah, if she can do it, um, but safety first. I think I probably more than likely wouldn't have, personally, wouldn't have gone that way. I would have rotated. Just so it's like bit. looking straight up the stairway almost, and it would be a really, little bit more really interesting, because then you're shooting yeah. into like that, if up at the top left of the image, if that's like a corner, like it's a staircase that goes up and then turns right, yeah. it would have a lot of nice interest, because then you have like, the, your leading lines are intersecting your frame instead of going with your frame. That might have been your intent. Yeah. But, or, but we also don't know what's up there. Like maybe that was, there was no other space to, yeah. you know, so. I'm sure you played yeah. around a lot. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Okay, here's where I would say after everything that I just talked about, I'd say, what do you guys think about this? <laughs> let's Let hear it in the comments. Let's, 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 let's give you a few I'm seconds. Gonna, uh, um, yeah, I'm going to be quiet. Give me, give me, after what we've just talked about, give me your, give me your thoughts, you guys. Give me some feedback. What are you, what are you thinking? Yes. All right. Yes. All right. Yay. <laughs> uh, everyone saying good job guys good job yeah okay super awesome this more than likely was probably cropped for instagram um so, and i get that you guys i get it we have to do it in our work too right sometimes you look and you go uh okay for me sometimes it just doesn't make it to instagram because the crop doesn't fit um Standing leg is not straight. Okay, really freak, really good one, Wendy. Uh, oftentimes standing leg is not good. In a layout like this, these layouts are actually kind of hard. I mean, not just kind of hard, they're like hard. To get that far back and to keep that bottom knee straight. Almost and never gonna get it. Also with, which leg? With that angle, regardless of what supporting leg, she is gonna be rotated out on the R. So when her knee is bent, you're not really gonna see how bent it is, just the fact that it is bent, just because of your perspective. Yep, yeah, so I, I personally wouldn't worry about the bent knee. If, if you don't like it, then have her bend it more. You know what I mean? When it's a little bit and it kinda bothers you, but you don't know what to do about it, just like fawn him more. Cause you yeah. all were saying like, not a straight leg, not a straight leg, well, make it look really bent. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. There's a difference between not straight and bent. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and just cropping, you guys. So, but I dancer safety, say, back bends. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just have to say one thing though. I'm really pleased with this shot. That it's a really crotchy shot. It's her back leg that's up, and you hit it really well by not lighting her crotch. So yay to whoever did this one. <laughs> I'm really, really pleased to start seeing more and more people be conscious of the things that young ladies don't want to have, you know, highlighted, meaning their crotches, you guys, um, and weird lines and and that kind of thing. So I'm I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased to see that. So, okay, okay, okay. I probably would have shot this a tiny bit lower, not much though. It's hard to know if that's the best line on her um, left leg. So it's, this is kind of, okay, so guys, a crossed fourth on the, uh, on the open side is hard. Um, it's really hard to get people's legs to be just like, can you guys see what I'm doing? I no, can't see what I'm doing. I'm like doing this. It's like really hard to like figure out just exactly how much upstage rotation you want the hip girdle, how much back bend and rotation you want that. Um, and, it, I, and, and it's not bad at all. It's just that she's got her, her left leg doesn't look, I mean, her, she's got beautiful feet. Um, and I don't know that, it, you know, it's sort of like one knee's bent, one foot's not fully there kind of thing. How about this? If, if this was the shot that you just took, what was, what would be what you would coach her into for the next shot? Oh, are you asking me? Yeah. Oh, I thought you were asking me. Oh, no. <laughs> um, what would I do for the next shot? Uh, she needs to really lift up on that, so, uh, on the front foot. So we prep these shots in my studio. We prep these shots with one foot, like with one leg bent at the exact angle that we want it to be. So people just pop straight up and then come back down again. And that gives them an opportunity to really go like boom and really stretch that uh, supporting leg into the floor. And it also allows you to give a little bit extra twist going on through the upper body at the same time because it's like she's not holding it right. She's just like popping in and out of it. And it's really an effective way to get those legs to do exactly what you want them to do. Yeah. Awesome. 
and then you come. Should she press her left foot forward to the back corner? Um, I, you know, because if you do that, then you're going to start rotating that left foot even more. And chances are we're going to lose the nice line on her leg, which is like, it's like down here where her foot, it's like, I just want to be in my studio, you guys. Oh my God. It's killing me. Okay. So it, I can't even show you. Oh my God. Okay. But yeah, kind of yes and kind of no. You can try it, but more than likely my gut is just telling me like, no, because you're going to shoot the back of her leg and it's not going to be pretty. Yeah. But try it. But try it. Yeah. Yeah. <gasps> pretty. Okay, seriously, please tell me this is an old shot and somebody's not outside shooting in trees in the... In and if you are, lie to us. Yes, just lie to us. <laughs> just I'm, lie to us. I'm pretty good. confident this is old. Okay, good. <laughs> that makes me feel better because that's all I want to just... Oh. Okay. Um, yeah, tree shots are kind of hard. I have done enough of them in my time to know. See, here I go. Okay, now I'm back into the Zoom thing. Okay, I was trying to be good for you guys. I was trying to have ballet. Posture. I haven't sat up straight for this long, and I don't know how yeah, long. I know, right? It's <laughs> awesome. We should be on here more often, right? Okay, um, tree shots are kind of challenging because the just this the 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 way you have to work with them in the tree for security sake sometimes you can't get your hips right or the angles right and that kind of thing so i think you pretty i think you did a pretty great job with this shot almost you know, 36 degrees outside during that. oh my god Yeesh. oh i think this is a great effort with all things considered the only thing i would have probably done differently is i probably would have bent her leg into attitude which would have given her back leg a little bit of a nicer line so it would have helped open her up a tiny bit for more turnout um fairly easily and then the line would have been pretty but this is this is this is lovely this is lovely can, can, can i jump in for just a second i want to ask colette a question i i, I want to know did you choose the color of this leo to go with this setting because this is probably, probably I mean, yeah. perfect i love it yeah probably mm -hmm. gotta also be careful when you're shooting outside under these conditions now that i'm zooming in and i'm looking that would drive me nuts the sun splashes drive me nuts uh, it makes people's skin not look so pretty. Looks like handprints on her thigh. Yeah. <laughs> so I would I would have taken that out in post or tried. Sorry if you like, can't unsee that handprint now. Yeah. I'm sorry if I killed the shot for you guys. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, mostly, actually, do you know, it didn't even to me read as much on her thigh as on her face. Her face looks uh. like it's dirty. Right? If you look back, it just kind of looks dirty. So, okay. Yeah. Retouching, babe. Retouching. Okay. 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 I mean, that's cool. Yeah. Like a weird arm. Tough pose. Tough pose. So when you're shooting that low, like that low, perspective is something that you guys have to take into consideration because that's always going to make or break how good the dancer looks. Um, this is a really great shot, um, and it's uh, it, it could have just been made that much a little bit better if she was able to bring that back arm around, right? So see how that shoulder's popped up, and that's like, oh. <laughs> see how that shoulder's popped up as she's gone for that twist? So if you were able to get her to bring it significantly forward, because it's never going to land where you want it to land, right? I would have coached her into getting it here, which would have made it look flat to the side, which would have given you better perspective, and it would have been even, even better. It looks like she kind of had to whack to get her upper body to do that and to get her left arm to do that, but then your right arm is going to continue to go back and do that, so yeah. to isolate. Yeah. Rachel was just so saying. because it's such a tiny right arm, it kind of accentuates the thighs. You know what I mean? So I would just be careful about that. The thighs are a little, you know, like that. So especially for an older dancer, we want to just be careful to make them always look good. And the thigh area is always something that all oh, us ladies need a little help with. So <laughs> um, last but not least on that shot, but it's a nice shot. Um, the back foot looks a little soft. So I don't know. Uh, shutter speed or shut flash duration. Yeah, shutter speed or flash duration. Just, just keep an eye on that. So, awesome. Good, good. Yep. Pretty. Same thing, you guys. I mean, this is a little bit nicer because she, her foot, <clears throat> this is the same thing that we were talking about in the first shot. 
Um, just a, like a like a, a like a more advanced version of the same pose. Hold on a second, guys. But now, so we would have loved a tiny bit more turnout on that front leg, but you can forgive it because the foot's winging a little bit. So you've got an, you've got a pretty curve going on there. Whereas if she was standing straight on her box, it wouldn't have been as nice a shot. And we would have said, turn out, turn out, turn out, turn out. Um, so yeah, I would say fingers are something that we need to start talking about. We should definitely do, we should do a fingers conversation, right? So don't do, don't put fingers into your workflow until, you know, you're probably- Wait, 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 let, let's test oh. the audience. It begins and ends with- Oh, yes. For anyone that took our classes or follows anyone, us on social um, media, first one gets a gold star. Okay, seriously, you guys? Seriously? Almost. Almost. Supporting, Supporting leg. Supporting leg, yeah. Emily, you almost had it. There you go. Okay, we're making t-shirts for all of you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ron, for the next conference, yeah, next year we're, at we're making t-shirts. There you go. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Um, I, I also would just make, uh, just share with you guys one more time about in, in intentional cropping. How do you feel about, like, this is a little bit different, right? There's more space here. How do we feel about where she is in space? How, what would you do to change the cropping on this? Or not at all, if you particularly like it this way. Is the crop helping or hindering and why? Mm -hmm. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Jennifer, 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 Jennifer. So, yeah, I mean. Too dark one side of the background. Too, uh huh, yeah. I mean, the darkness on the side of the background, sometimes you want it like that, right? Sometimes it kind of, it brings you into her sometimes a little you, bit. Sometimes you guys, right now, I'm She's trying, looking into the light. I know we've been all, and myself included, in the last two or three years, I'm talking about backgrounds now, I'm going way away, we were talking about cropping, and I'm dumping that conversation. <laughs> I think uh, we've been, a, lo a lot of us have been going for a long time about how to keep your backgrounds clean, keep your dancers without shadows on the background, how to you know, make it as clean as possible and blah, 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 particularly on colored backgrounds. Right now, I'm really into- I remember she emailed me a different crop. Sorry, oh, Jennifer. On, Jen. this, is like, this is so much better. Come on now, come on now. Yeah, yeah, it, it just brings it in. I'll That's share with you guys. See. This yeah. is the crop that she sent in to me. So do you see the difference? We went four by five, oh, yeah. brought it in a little bit tighter. Yeah. I got you, Jennifer, sorry, my bad. <laughs> so, but the thing is, is that, you know, it, it actually kind of have a to has a totally different feeling, right? The one with more space it is definitely different than the four by five. And that's why I keep coming back to you guys, intentional cropping, because you can do so much. You can tell such a story with just how you crop an image or add background or take it away and all that kind of stuff. So it really, it, it's really effective use of uh, a useful um, tool. Uh, anyway, I was getting back to talking about backgrounds and how we are all trying to often stay away from gradations in the background or have it be intentional in the gradation. And I have to tell you right now, I'm totally into the opposite. It's just something that's happening that I'm like so bored over with a flat lit color in the background. And I'm um, doing much more directional light that is like intentionally directional on the background, not like like harsh shadows and that kind of thing. That's cool too. It's just, that's not necessarily my look. Um, gradient work. But like, yeah, I'm working specifically to get the gradients to do what I want them to do, which is, Jesus, it's another thing, but never mind. So I, I don't mind it. I don't, I, I don't mind having it go much darker on the one side. And this, it, it, and this, it lends a, a certain narrative uh -huh. Uh -huh. to it. Going from dark to light, she's looking into the light. Exactly. Yeah. Jen. Nice shot. Yeah. I like the vibe. Her bomb, her bomb is too hot. Kill the light on the bomb. You can do better on your highlight, babe. You can do better. Okay. Uh, I can't get it to go next. Where's the, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, is that the last one? We can go and get more. I just- No, no there's, there's more. There's a lot oh, yeah, more. There's more, I, I, I just- You just pulled. I, I just pulled from them. I've never used Pixie Set. I don't know how to get back to <laughs> the main. Hold on, here we go. 
All right, what have we not talked about? Nope, that's still, shoot. Oh, there's, no, there's, there's like 31 images in there. Yeah, I didn't expect her to crank through these so quickly. Yeah. All right. Speed, man, speed. We'll yeah, go see, see, I'm seeing different ones now. Yeah, there we go. What would you guys say about this one? Yeah, um, I say nothing. You guys tell me. Doing some Zoom photo shoots? Uh-huh. How are you guys all liking this virtual photo shooting? I Yeah, have you guys done it? Is it working? Uh, um, not a thing. Not, a thing. not unless somebody has like a fancy like remote trigger for their camera. Um, it's like not even that. It's that the awkwardness of say no a little over here no a little over here can you move your monitor up like Wait, two inches is your is your, is you your video mirrored is this your like, right hand or is this your right hand yeah like it's not it's like no not and, and I, I think if you're doing portraits it's something but if you're doing what we're doing i mean you do what you have to do right i think we might you guys i think we might all have to get used to it just to just just to be on the stage this is what i'm talking about when all my workshop the people that i work with regularly um, and I'm starting to give assignments on it. None of us like it, but we better have, have it in your back pocket in case it we, becomes a thing. Yeah, we have to be ready. Uh, and we have to be, I think, flexible. If we all come out of this in two months and we all go right back into it, I mean, our businesses can't survive if we're stop, start, stop, start, stop, start. So we have to think of what is going to happen and how we can make it work to the best advantage. So we're working on it. We're working on it. Uh, none of us love it, but we're working on it. Okay, audition photos. Era best time. So, uh, perfectly acceptable. Need to sit down. Yeah, it's a little, shoot on a longer lens. like it's a little high. Um, like you're shooting a little high, so you would want to come down a little bit on her. We shot like on because, a 35. Yeah, her back leg looks gigantic compared to her supporting leg. So there's a, uh, we're on the in incorrect lens. Um, and then I think uh, the lighting needs a little bit of help. Um, it looks like you're under you're shooting this under circumstances where you don't have time or control. This is the type of work that I see most when people have very little time or control over their light. Um, so it's not super advantageous to the dancer to have the light coming that much from the front because they just look flat and stuck into the background and it's kind of hard to see them because they're not coming out of the background um so using your clock system is is where i would where i would go um and for you can that's that information is totally on my website you can grab grab that lighting tutorial on my website you'll see what i'm talking about so nice dancer though i mean come on posing's pretty good too right mm -hmm. Done it. Uh, let me just jump in for a second. Gretchen, yeah. uh, I hope you hear me. You, you're putting comments in Q&A, but we're doing everything in the chat box. So if you can switch over to the chat box, that would be great. Gretchen, thank you. Back to you guys. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, so we caught you. We caught you. We got it. We got it. Okay. So, um, okay, pretty shot. What do you guys think about this shot? Anybody? Bueller. Bueller. Very cool. We've got a very cool. What else? Space. So what do you want, Colette? Do you feel like it's too tight? Do you feel like you want space? Uh-huh. She likes it. Uh, I would like more detail in the legs. Okay. Well, it's window lit. So unless you add light, you're probably not going to get more detail in the legs. Like it's clearly just coming in. It's just being lit from the top, right? So uh, the, unless you put in a bounce card or actually lit those legs, that's not going to happen. Um, I don't mind that. I think it's kind of moody, it's kind of intentionally lit that way. Um, I had a windows are overexposed. Well, it depends on where you're placing the exposure, right? Like it depends on how much light was actually coming through those windows. And we wanted that particular highlight on back. We exposed for that, the dancer so, would be like pitch black. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So you have to, you have to, you have to play the exposure game of what do you want lit? Um, I think more documentary type photo than dance photo, but it's beautiful. Yeah, sure. This is. I probably would have made sure we had exactly the same amount of wall space on the other side of the couch. Give it like, cause you almost have that like 50, 50 mm -hmm. kind of feel to it. 
And I do get that sometimes there's like, you kind of can't do that, right? Like you're in a space where it's like a pile, like it's pushed up against the wall or there's a pile of, I don't know, dirty diapers on the other side. Oh yeah, the Zoom call, like not seeing what's happening other than our little box right, right. here. Yeah, exactly. It's like my pile of laundry there <laughs> and my roller there. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, it's hard to say, you know, I've been under, under circumstances and shoots where you like, people are like, oh, we, we needed more space. I'm like, I couldn't give you more space. Do you want to see what the space looked like? Kind of thing. Um, so yeah, uh, I, I think it's an interesting shot. Um, personally, I'm all about legs and lines. So for me, uh, to lose her feet, like when they sink down into the couch like that, they almost look sickled and that drives me nuts. So I would, if I was her I, or whoever it was, I would have just gone just for the quick shot. Can you just pop it? You know what I mean? Like outward sickle like that a little bit more. Um, so, and it just feels tight. It does feel tight. I probably would have cropped it differently. Open it up a little bit. Or gone for, you Dutch know, angle. Yeah, super tight or something, so. <coughs> Okay, so excellent. The first thing I see in the way this is working is the light between her thighs. Um, so I probably would have closed her, uh, tried to get her to get her knees together. So I don't have that light coming through there. It's kind of distracting. Um, I would have turned her hips a little bit more so that that bottom foot, you guys down here is not the most attractive line on a foot. When you can see the heel here, you really wanna see an edge line like this on the foot, like a foot that's coming down that way and that way. So just a little bit, or even just straight is fine. But the minute you rotate this way, it starts to look weird. And the minute you rotate this way, it starts to look weird. Um, so that's what you've got going on here right now. I probably would have started this foot and rotated her rotated her to the side a little bit more. But this is also a classic, I'm seeing this a lot when you guys are side lighting with almost, if not equal amounts of light coming in from both sides. It's, it, it, it's fine, it's pretty, your client's gonna be happy with it, don't get me wrong. But because it's mostly just side, side, light, side lighting, then there's less intention behind what side or area of her body, face, technique, whatever you're wanting to light. So really, again, one more time, our eye goes right to here, doesn't it? Right? You, your eye goes straight to here, then it comes down to here, then it goes to here. And that's kind of like not really what we want to be seeing. I think rotate her this way, um, soften the, so, let me do it on here so you guys can see. If we rotate her hips this way, and we softened this light, brought it around to the back a little bit more, brought that light around just a little bit more so her face was was more in focus, was more, you know, I don't wanna say lit, but like the focus kind of thing. I think it would have been prettier. I think it would have been prettier. So, so yeah. All right, that one. I think we have time for one more. Yeah, I have a, I have a 315 with, a, with my, uh, uh, another call that I have to jump on you guys. So let me just give you one more real quick and then we'll wrap it up. Uh, I think this is a really cute little pose. What a little, little, they're all littles now, aren't they? Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think, first of all, everything that we've been talking about, right? Intentional cropping, it's a little tight to the bottom. Um, she just looks super cute. I mean, this is a prime pose of what you get with a little, you know? Yeah. I think probably I would have done a little bit more with the lighting. Probably not. Um, yeah, because yeah, I probably wouldn't have had the front light quite so much there or softened it or something like that because it's like a lot of light on her bum over here. But I think this light is good. Yeah, I'm just cropping. Yeah, awesome. All right, you guys, great work. Any other questions before I have to jump off the call? Is there, are there, you guys know where to find us, although we really haven't been on Instagram for a while because we've been working on a couple of other things. Um, but, uh, but any other questions before, before, before I let you guys go? Oh, good, I'm glad. I'm glad it was helpful. Do you offer website previews? Like, um, 
reviews? Reviews. I mean, we were doing consultations for a little while and then we got really busy in the last little while with the new project with Trading Point. Um, workshops. And uh, yeah, and we've kind of trying to figure out how to redesign our workshops. So we've got some stuff on the back burner that's going. Um, so definitely reach out if you're interested in help. Uh, I, we don't have a ton of time to do that. At, Glad you're liking the YouTube channel. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah, we're kind of really more about that kind of stuff uh, lately, like just putting out as much content as we can to keep all of us going during this time rather than one on ones. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, let us know. Let us know how we can help you. Okay, and if you guys do any kind of like online uh, workshops or anything like that, you know, let me know so I can put it out to the, the group through me. So we've been trying to figure it out. I've actually watched a couple of others um, in the fashion industry and just to see how other people are doing them. And it's just so like not the way I run my workshops. I'm so hands on and it's so individual to what the photographers mm -hmm. that we're working. So I'm trying to figure it out. But it almost isn't like it's not the way I teach. Do you know what I mean? So right. it's really. We like to get in your face, and it's hard when we have a screen in the way. You no, know, I think <laughs> where, really where the best learning is is when you're responding to what's literally right in front of you, and everybody's like, "Oh yeah, I do that too. Oh yeah, that." that. And so it's it's such a different format to just like give without being able to respond off of what's in front of you. So that's my that's really for to be honest, that's been my biggest hesitation in the last four weeks as we've been talking about it because we had to cancel Denver. Um, I'm really sad about that. But it, but I I mean, maybe we'll try it. Do you guys want to try it? Is anybody interested in like trying like a, t I think it would have to be like two Who wants hours. to be a guinea pig? Yeah, like we'd have to, that would be I the thing. I think you would get a lot of yeses. We'd have to like guinea oh, yeah. pig it Boom. before Blown because up. I just don't think, it's like not my normal way of teaching and I don't feel comfortable like, I don't know. I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, we can try, we can try, but we, it would be, yeah, I think maybe we would try before we would actually offer I mean, it. It would have to be a total restructure because it would, yeah. it would kind of be like taking what we did today and just diving deeper versus like the shooting aspect that is what our, like the one-on-one -on -one shooting with the dancer with, you know, getting constant input. That's something that we can't really facilitate. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, so it's it, like, the th it's like a theoretical. That, yeah, workshop. and it's like it's you know it's clunky and it like even the one that I, the couple of ones that I watched there's kind of clunky and awkward a little bit and I know everybody puts up with it and they would be they would be understanding but it's just so subpar I mean but we can try we'll try how about this we'll like we'll come up with something if we'll, you guys hate it let you'll us let know. us know <laughs> yeah, yeah we'll try we'll try like a two hour thing and then if you hate it you'll let us know and then we'll. I, I think what will happen is they may not love it as much as they do it in person, but they're still going to really appreciate it and benefit from it. And that's the important thing. Yeah. Yeah. There you okay, go. Okay. Well, thank you very much for um, being a part of this, Rachel and Andrew. Um, I just want to remind everybody that uh, I, I just sent out a link onto our face, our private Facebook group. We're doing a chat for dancers with uh, Houston ballet uh, principal dancer Karina Gonzalez next Wednesday. Um, we actually have another one set up for the following week with a Miami City Ballet dancer. Um, so if you guys can help me get that out to dancers, that would really be terrific. I want to be sure that uh, they have an opportunity to talk to a lot of dancers. So thank you very much, everybody. Thanks, guys. See you guys soon. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.